Gumshoes, the Donald Trump Pokemon. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another Gen 7 random Pokemon battle. He starts out with a Steelix against my Politoed, and uh, I thought he was going to switch out here, which I'm pretty surprised about. He stays in and Mega Evolves, but uh, a Scald is really, really going to fuck that thing up. He sticks the Toxic on my Politoed, which I, I really don't care about. <laughs> Not one little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blast that thing. I, I don't understand why he would stay in. Even when he Mega Evolves, he still has a Steel and Ground Typing, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about a free KO. So we start off the battle real, real strong. He brings in the Galvantula now, which is dangerous for most of my team. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the Politoed, like I said, I don't really care all that much about him. Uh, I have a lot of water Pokémon on this team, and uh, he go ahead and smash my Politoed with a Thunder. I do see that he has the Life Orb, so he can only make three hits, um, but yeah, they're gonna be big big hits. <laughs> so I send in my Gold up now. Um, probably gonna get the thunder again, but I am able to hit him first because of the swift swim, which is the reason that I went into Golduck in the first place. So that's pretty nice. Um, the Galvantula does go down to his life orb damage. Togekiss is coming in now, um, and we're gonna be against a Machamp, which doesn't present much of a problem. Air Slash is really, really gonna fuck that thing's day. He's probably gonna go for a Dynamic Punch or something like that. If he had Bullet Punch, that would be the thing to go for since it is super effective. Um, but yeah, it seems he doesn't, so two Air Slashes, gonna take that thing down, no problem. And uh, now we're one Pokémon up on him in what was a back and forth battle the entire time. Now he has a Minoon. Um, I don't really want to take the, the hit from that thing, so I send in Tapu Lili, which is the Psychic and Fairy type. And this thing has massive, massive special defense. As you can see, it eats up that Thunderbolt, no problem at all. And um, that thing is faster, but I am going to be able to get the Psy Shot going. Oh, everything's going to be faster than me because of that fucking sticky web that the Galvantula put down. Well, that's okay. I've still got Togekiss. He's flying. He's awesome. He's going to do the thing. Gumshoes, the Donald Trump Pokemon, comes in, but uh, unfortunately is taken down from a Focus Blast. Baboosh! Psychic and Fairy. He didn't see the uh, the Focus Blast coming, I suppose. Now his last Pokemon is a Skuntank. This this kid got skunked. I'm gonna say that much. I got four Pokemon left. He's got one. Okay. <laughs> now I've got three Pokemon left. He's got one. So that's not a problem. I'm gonna send in the Delphox now. Hopefully he doesn't have like a uh, Sucker Punch or something like that. He does have the Sucker Punch. Luckily I was scouting for that. I'm gonna go ahead and switch a Roo and give him the Choice Scarf and see what he locks himself into. So uh, he has no more Pokemon, he has to use that for the rest of the battle, which is super good. Surprisingly, he locks himself into Sucker Punch, which is, uh, yeah. I could bring in the Togekiss and just, just finish this thing right now, but I do want to reveal my last Pokemon, so the Delphox goes down, which is absolutely 100% uh, fine because I know we've got this one in the bag. And uh, Girafferig comes in, another Psychic type. <laughs> Lots of water and Psychic on this team. And he goes for the Sucker Punch one more time, which is just fine. Hyper Voice almost takes it down, just a smidge more, and we'd be there. Um, so he's gonna take Girafferig down. Then the Togekiss is gonna come in, save the day, as he does, because he's such a boss. I'm gonna go ahead and pass Baton Pass into it, just for funsies, because uh, I know the Sucker Punch ain't doing nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all! Stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> Anyways, Air Slash, done. Fantastic work, everyone. I'll see you in the next battle. Battle number two against Thib07. He's got a Chestnut out first against my Beaverell. Beaverell is uh, normal and water, so I want to pull that thing right the fuck out because Chestnut's Fighting and Grass, which uh, both of his same type attacks beat my same type attacks. So he is either predicting the switch or, uh, yeah, just trying to set up some early hazards as he goes for spikes as I bring in Lunala, which is, I think, the Gen 6 Legendary. Psychic and Ghost. Really, really fucking awesome. 
Uh, he gets the Leech Seed on it, but that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go for Calm Minds, and he brings in the Garbodor, which is a mistake because I was going for Psy Shock uh, to hit the Fighting type side of the Chestnut, but instead he uh, brings in the Poison type, which is gonna do the same super effective damage and take it down. He has no, uh, no Aftermath, which is lucky for me. Now he's got the Rotom Frost here. Um, I think he's gonna go for Blizzard or something like that. I don't know why I thought Lunala was a uh, flying type, but yeah. Rotom is going to lose in this battle because he has a water, my Rotom rather, has a water and electric typing, which is uh, not able to beat the electric moves of that Rotom Frost. Um, hopefully he's gonna stay in. I got the Persian out here now. Rotom is really, really a tough Pokemon, especially when he has a form like that. Um, I go ahead and go for the Fake Out just to get some free damage. I'm thinking about saving my Persian, but I'm not going to. I hope that Return can KO, and it does not quite, even with the uh, Life Orb boost. And he goes for Pain Split, which is an interesting choice on his part, to say the least. I'm going to go ahead and go for Return again. I don't think he's going to Pain Split again, uh, but he will go down to Life Orb damage. Yeah. He's got the Life Orb, that's another reason he won out against the uh, Rotom Wash. He was able to two-hit KO me. Well, I got two down, he's got two down. I think he's gonna go back into the Chestnut, um, so I go ahead and reveal another Psychic type, which is uh, almost my last Pokemon, and I'm predicting that he'll switch out here, so I go for the Nasty Plot, but no, he sets up the Leech Seed, which I should have uh, expected because he didn't switch out against my Psychic and Ghost Lunala, but uh, that's just fine. I got my Nasty Plot up. Leech Seed's not gonna matter because I knock him out in one shot with the Psy Shock. Oh yeah, As Elf is a badass. One of the uh, fastest of these Elf Pokemon, but he does have a Darmanitan out here now. Ooh, that crit definitely mattered. Um, I'm able to take that thing down with a Psy Shock. I was expecting that he would hit me with a Flare Blitz, and uh, that would really fuck me up. <laughs> I don't want to lose my Azel, but um, yeah, we are pulling ahead in this battle. He's lost four now, we've only lost two. And boom, there's yet another one. So definitely a fucking amazing Azelf sweep in this fight. He's got the Dialga as his last Pokemon. Good Pokemon to save for last. I revealed my Lunala uh, probably just a bit too early. I do have the Dazzling Gleam, however, which is going to be neutral because Dialga has uh, Dragon and Steel, I believe. So my Leech Seed's gonna suck up a little bit of health there. So I'm gonna switch out. I should have gone into the Sceptile uh, with the Chestnut doing all that Leech Seed shenanigans, but he doesn't have a whole lot to hit Chestnut with, especially since uh, his special D is so high. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve the Sceptile though and go for Outred, Outrage, <laughs> and uh, I think it should be enough to take this Dialga down. He's trying to hit me with Thunderbolt, which is not gonna work. Now it's four times resisted with the uh, Dragon and Grass typing. Even Flash Cannon, not quite enough. So there it is, another battle in the bag. I sincerely hope that you've enjoyed, friends. I hope you'll join us next week and see what other fun we can get into. And don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the content. If you do, friends, I'll send you a, a boo thing I got from McDonald's. His tongue goes like this. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe not. Maybe they didn't get him in America. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, friends. And until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again.